Shen English Communication in English. Um, hi, I'm Stanley, and I'm English major student, and I just finished my exchange for one year in Italy. And I want to share my experience with you guys. First of all, if you are thinking about applying an exchange, I highly recommend you to do it. And secondly, living abroad as a student is the best timing to experience a new culture. In a uni, you will meet people from all over the world. And which is the best part of the journey. However, uh, as a Taiwanese, we don't have too much chance to meet expect compared to other country. So after a year study abroad, what get what get most is um, confident and the perspective of this world. In the end, it's never easy to get through all of the experience, but I believe it will be one of the best memory in your life. Thank you, Stanley. Uh, in your opinion, what is the biggest change or difference happening to you between before and after this exchange program? Okay. Uh, personally, I feel more confident to speak English to other people, and I'm willing to talk about different topic and my own experience to share it with each other. And also, I have um, I get more confident about um, my life because I feel like before I lived in Taiwan for like 20 years and I feel like living in a small island so my world is just like this small but when I uh, live in abroad for a while I feel like I gain different perspective and culture so I was willing to um, meet different people from different culture mm. and also now I have a uh, reading habit and I also start to do the photography by myself and so that help helped me a lot to um, to get along with myself well, did you also pick up something to put into practice in your daily life like something you pick up on the exchange program but it's still some of the things that you are doing every day ah, okay because uh, i have the class called renaissance uh, italian renaissance and i just start to read book like almost every day before sleep and when i w woke up so now i i started to have a book to read on the metro or before I get to sleep. So uh, I have this kind of habit to help me. Do you have any suggestions for your future mei if they want to go to Italy, go to Rome? Okay. I will suggest you to learn a little bit Italian because you know a lot of people, um, the stereotypes is that Italian people don't speak English that much. So when you are living there, it's better to learn Italian. And also, don't have too high is a um, expectation to visit there. So, yeah, that, that is my suggestion. What would be the most, what would be the most useful uh, sentences in Italian? Give us two. Give us two sentences. Okay, so when you go to the bar, the bar which is the like a breakfast place who serve the cafe or cappuccino. So when you get in, you can just say ciao, buongiorno. So which means which means it's like good morning, how are you? So the bartender will like ciao bello or ciao bella. So they will ask you which which cafe or which uh, pastry you want to get. Yeah, that would be the good like it's pre um the good Greetings. Greeting. Yeah. And bello means. Bello. Bello means uh, like handsome boy or like. And bella means. Bella means uh, pretty girls or ladies. Yeah. Okay, so you bello and bella remember. Okay, what would be the second most useful sentence in Italian? Uh, second most useful. Mm, for me, I will say uh, grazie mille. So, which is thank you so much. Okay. It's very useful because... So, what was the thank you once again? Grazie. 
What was what was that? So uh, much mille. Okay. So mille is very much. So okay. grazie mille. Yeah. Meaning thank you very much. Okay, thank you. I think that's enough for today. Okay, so okay, thank you, Stanley. Stanley, say bye. Ciao. <laughs> Language is power when you use it. English and applied communication, Sissing University.